Hi guys and welcome back to Redstone Productions. As you can probably tell, I'm still in my own apartment in the Amsterdam city center. Hopefully within the next uh, five to six days, so hopefully next week I will be able to go back to the studio. I'm arranging uh, everything in the most possible safe way, the safest way. As of now, I have um, really something cool again for you today on the live streams on Friday on Redstone Productions YouTube channel. Today we have, we have a really, really cool track a nice single that was released by Baskira a few months back, 2020. I think it was one of the very last projects I have mastered just before the shutdown. So uh, I would really like you guys to kind of see the behind the scene work that I did to this, uh, to this entire album, but in particular to this uh, single, which is the only one that got released as of yet. I'm uh, really looking forward to see the entire LP being, being published uh, within the next few months. By the end of the year, it should definitely be out. But today I can just share with you something really, really cool, which is again the main single of the album, which is called Il Biondo. The artist's name is Baschira. One more time, he's a really cool Italian dude. He's, uh, he's a nice uh, guitar teacher. He's been uh, here in Amsterdam for the last uh, over 10 years, I should say. And uh, he's also particularly really re particularly good singer-songwriter. He basically put together this project uh, with a re relatively tight budget and at one point at the end of the whole production I was uh, brought into the project to be able to master uh, his own stems. More about stems coming up soon but without further ado I want you to check out his little introduction to the song we are about to uncover. Yeah, stay tuned. Hi guys. I'm uh, Davide Cristiani, I'm uh, from uh, Bologna, I'm Italian, but I'm living in Amsterdam for 10 years now. My artist name is uh, Baschira. Today I will uh, talk about my last release, Il Biondo, that is part of an EP called Zdazdat, that means wake up in my dialect, that is coming out uh, next month. First of all, it's necessary to say that I was, um, for the most of the time, helped by friends uh, that uh, believe uh, as well in this project. I start with the guitar and uh, then I over record the voice. I record this and actually also almost the whole album, all the instrument with two microphones. I used a condenser and a dynamic microphone. After that I went to a friend of mine, Henrik, uh, is from uh, is Swedish and he played bass. Uh, we record also with two microphones in his uh, living room, uh, double bass. I did a little bit of editing of that and I send it to the other musician in Italy. Mauro is playing the clarinet and Francesco is playing the tenor saxophone. Uh, we went together, uh, I rent for a day the RPM studio. And we went there with uh, Barto, he was playing drums. The same day we got also some electric guitar recorded. There was my friend Carlo playing it. And last recording was Herit with the uh, euphonium. It was really nice, I loved the sound. I think that we had uh, almost uh, 30 tracks to work on. And we worked together with Mario De Silva on um, the mixing in the studio and we got uh, stem mast. Here he is when comes Pietro, a really nice experience to work with him. Most valuable things was uh, that he respect uh, the work done, he understood pretty good what was necessary to do without uh, changing the meaning that was uh, chosen for them. So I hope you enjoy it and listen to Baschira. Bye! All right, thank you so much, Davide, for the nice little introduction. So without further ado, I would say let's just uh, open up the session in front of you so you can see what I received from the artist himself. Uh, and as I was kind of mentioning before and also in uh, the introduction from Baskir himself, uh, this is a STEM mastering process we are going to be looking at today. So let me bring this guy up in there and I'm going to be on top. So as you can see now by looking at my screen, uh, these are the stereo stems that have been exported from the artist along with the original mix, which is this guy down here. So the idea here is basically that 
since the production was, um, again, it's, it's really, really good music, I must tell you that, I love it. It's in Italian, which makes me love it even more in a way, it's kind of hard to really work with Italian artists uh, here in Amsterdam. So this was a nice blessing that I received this uh, Italian guy asking me to master his work. And uh, again, the idea here is that uh, we are not just going to be mastering what we would normally be doing, which is the stereo mix. But in this case, we're going to be working with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six stereo stems. What are stems? So long story short, a stem, as you can probably hear, it's just... So that's what stems are really doing for us. They're giving me a list. They're giving me the opportunity to really dive into that. And, and if there's any little adjustment I can do to the individual stereo tracks, uh, that's pr probably going to save uh, me asking the client to go back and uh, do a little bit of uh, revisions on the mix themselves, which uh, potentially will save a lot of money for him as well. Uh, stem mastering, a little bit, quick history on it. Um, a lot of mastering engineers have really mixed feelings about it. To be honest, my take on it is that, I mean, we always uh, dealt with stems, uh, especially when you work for uh, TV productions or film productions where you have a huge, massive amount of tracks. And then whenever they broadcast, so they need to run a show. They need to be able to separate different uh, sections of instruments so they can, for instance, uh, uh, give the song a play without the, the singer, so the singer can go on top of it while singing live. So all of that kind of gave him, gave, um, gave, uh, yeah, the production the ability to solo mute and do plus minus uh, mixes of what was actually being sent out for broadcast. Uh, but in this case, we actually uh, go in for this stem mastering, which will require a little bit of extra time on my end, of course, because this way I can actually, again, uh, just make sure that everything is exactly as it should be. I'm not going to be destroying the mix. As you can probably see from my screen itself, all of the faders are at zero. Okay, So that's the other very important part. So whenever you're exporting, and that's probably the most, um, yeah, the most difficult thing to get it right, but it's quite easy. Follow me on this. So if you want to export your mix for a mastering, session you would basically bounce the entire stereo track uh, in case you want to create stems well you need to make sure that they absolutely absolutely match the mix otherwise i'll be working with uh, apple and potatoes so how to make sure of that well you want to be able to export each singular section of instruments as a stereo track and then you want to basically create a new session where you import all of the stems and the original mix you flip the polarity of the mix and if you hear nothing that means that the stems are matching exactly the mix which is good so quick tip there export the mix export the stems bring it into a new session uh, change the polarity of the mix and if there's silence that means they are absolutely equal and that's what we want to have. So without further ado, let me just uh, go and dive deep into this. I would say, let me start maybe just soloing the mix I receive to start with. So that way you can kind of have an idea of what's really going on. Let me mute my mic so you can hear it. I will play kind of uh, halfway through the song. <laughs> giorno biondo di turno si sveglio e si scelse i nani che lo seguivano come cani dodici teste quattro cani e moltiplicando i pani ignaro della bibbia bugiarda la promessa ha conquistato la città se non conosci il tuo passato purtroppo si ripeterà se non conosci il tuo passato purtroppo si ripeterà
se il pane non gli manca Conserva i suoi nemici in banca La capra in debito non li scopra Se no ci tira una riga sopra All right, that was that. Really, really nice song. The name again is Il Biondo from Baskira. Big shout out to him. Uh, so, without further ado, I would say, let me show you that there's no trick. Uh, all fills at zero, as I was telling you guys before. I always have my original mix here as a reference. And uh, let me start soloing the tracks one at a time. So you probably now can see my session. So if I start soloing tracks, the stems, can start hearing the, the drums. Let's create a little loop. So really cool, really cool recording. Again, it was done on a tight budget, but I know that this drum um, uh, drum kit has been recorded uh, in the studio here in Amsterdam. So let me show you what I did to it. So of course, in my studio, I do have tons of analog gear. I was actually doing the summing through an SSL X desk. In this case, we're gonna sum through the box. So inside Logic in this case. And I was also, of course, inserting onto the X-Desk specific outboard. In this case, we're going to do most of it with the use of plugins, which is great. Uh, and hopefully by next week, we'll be able to go back to the studio and showcase those uh, noise hardware units. So first thing I did, the usual, I just simply love uh, an SSL bus compressor on drums, just uh, on the glue setting, as I call it, which is the auto release and uh, 30 milliseconds attack. Just 4 to 1 ratio, a little bit of side chain filter just to make sure that the low end doesn't overpower, over triggers the actual compression threshold. And uh, let's have a listen with and without, without it first. So as you can see, it's barely tipping the needle here. So it's just creating the nice little glue, nice little glue. I'm not making up any game for it. And that's followed by a pull tack. Again, I would use my lovely pull tacks uh, in the studio, but in this case, we're gonna stick with the Universal Audio re-edition. And uh, let's have a listen with and without, without it first. And just boosting uh, for the sake of it, just a little bit of 10k and doing the little attenuation of 20. So let's hear that without it first. There we go. So it's just opening up a little bit on the high end, basically. Just the fizz. Without it. Better little. Again, here we are. Even if we're dealing with stems, it's still mastering. So we are supposed to do that. One, two, three, four percent. So no more than that. The mix is there. I don't have to ruin this mix. I have to be actually pretty, pretty responsible about it. So that's that. Let's hear it with and without one more time. Yeah, it's doing this thing without. Uh, making it better. <laughs> the other thing we did, let's see the bass, I didn't do anything but of course I did realize, let me open up the middle real quick, I did realize that it was an actual mono track even if it was sent out as a stereo one. So what I did is I just triple checked that, so just playing the track, looking at the goniometer, it's absolutely a mono track so there's no need for me to make it stereo, it's just I can use it as a mono track for what it what it is, let's that. And then we do have the tuba bass, it's a really cool one. But let me sh have a play through the bass one more time. Put 
pretty cool sound. Uh, haven't done any shaping on it. Again, I will do some uh, EQ on the master bus, which I'll show you later on. Here we got the tuba. Let's have a listen to it. Let's jump to a different section. Right? Haven't touched it. The horns. Let's just see what we got. Really cool together with the tuba. I did a little bit of work. I did a little bit of work on these uh, horn stems, and as you can probably tell from my screen, it's just a little bit of boost, 12.5 kilohertz, 2dB boost with an API 550 from Universal Audio, and a 2dB boost at 100 hertz. It's kind of the fist and the fizz, as they call it. Let's have a listen with and without just that. Let's go here without it. That's in. Out. Back in. Again, it's just uh, enhancing that 1%. Acoustic guitar, let's see what we got going on in here. And yeah, that's a good spot. And that's what I did here. Uh, again, API 550A. You see, I'm a big lover of this this guy. And um, boost at 10 kilohertz uh, with the higher filter. So without, with it. Without it. So I would say let's have a listen to what we did so far. So let's just solo up these tracks. Let's disengage our processing and let's see how that sounds like. So this is before our little EQ points. time without it with it yep it's just sounding a tiny bit better I would say Let's see what's the deal with the vocal track okay this is where I had to do a little bit of editing myself and uh, that's one of uh, also one of the nice reasons to have uh, stems. Sometimes the edit, you know, can be done fairly quickly. Some other times uh, you could miss spots. And in this case, on the vocals, which is, as we know, a very important element of any production, we got some uh, little schnizzle to take care of. So let me just uh, solo up these two tracks. All right. So this is the vocal stem that I received. This one on the top with no edits. And uh, as you can probably hear, uh, there's a little bit of bleed and a little bit of uh, breath noises. You, sometimes you can hear the edits as well. So I just had to kind of tie that up. And uh, here is how it came in. Biondo di turno Si sveglio e si scelse i nani Che lo seguivan come cani Dodici teste, quattro trame so what I did, it's this. Un bel giorno biondo di turno Si svegliò e si scelse i nani Che lo seguivan come cani 
dodici teste quattro trame e moltiplicando i pani ignaro della bibbia bugiarda la promessa che ha conquistato so again what i was really trying to do here is just to make things a little bit cleaner so I can now hide this track because I have my edited version. So again, we got drum stem, bass stem, tuba stem, horn stem, acoustic guitar stem, and vocal edited track stem. This is an actual stereo track because effects are printed in there as well. Let's see what kind of treatment I did to the vocals. Not much, I don't want to screw up the work that's been done uh, together with the mixing engineer and the artist that's been agreed and approved. So again, all I did in here is just uh, clean up the super low end, just making sure, just to safeguard, to be honest. Uh, let's see if there's anything going on in there, actually. Un bel giorno biondo di turno. Eh, just making sure if there's any hum noise from the room. And then I would normally use my trusted uh, LA-2A analog one. In this case, I don't have it, so I'm going to use the Teletronics uh, re yeah, digital version from Universal Audio, the LA-2A from them. Let's see with and without. Without it. Un bel giorno biondo di turno. With it. Un bel giorno biondo di turno. Very little. Let's keep on playing. Without it. Si sveglio e si scelse i nani che lo seguivano come cani. With it. Dodici teste, quattro trame. E moltiplicando i pani. Ignaro della Bibbia. So you can hear it's barely touching the needle. I know that's already been compressed on the mix down, so I don't really need to overdo that, to be honest. So let me bring that track in place. And now we can have a listen to the tracks as they were and as they are. Let's check that out without our processing right away. Bugiarda la promessa Che ha conquistato la città Se non conosci il tuo passato purtroppo si ripeterà Se non conosci il tuo passato purtroppo si ripeterà You know, we are, I think we're getting about 3%, 4% more. Uh, it's, everything is a little bit more defined frequency-wise. Uh, we are masking elements, which is great. Uh, we're also making things pop up a little bit more. I think the drums are kind of uh, now in a nicer sound stage. They get presented a bit better. And then, after this, what the hell we had to do? Well, what we did is basically just making sure that, um, yeah, our master bus chain was also properly set up. Again, normally, let me open up in here. Normally, I would have these machines in uh, hardware fashion. <laughs> so I would use again my trusted SSL bus compressor on the, yeah, just again the glue setting as I was doing before in the drum kit. And that's uh, that's there. I would also use a pull tech. I have my Summit Audio pull techs, which is, you know, now you can see it, which are also super, super, super cool. So the SSL bus compressor would be the analog, the pull techs would be analog from Summit Audio. The SPL Vitalizer MK K2T, I also have one of these units, uh, hardware based, in the studio. So, thanks God, Universal Audio had a plugin for it, so I could kind of replicate the master I did in the studio. And uh, then, after that, I did brought in a mastering chain, which is what you can see over here. That's these guys, yeah. And that's a hardware insert, uh, more on that soon. And then followed by, of course, a Sonics limiter, so an Oxford limiter there, just to, to make sure we bring up the level to our target. This is going to be delivered and released on Spotify, so you can actually already find on Spotify, so that was uh, kind of what we were trying to get to in terms of loudness uh, target. So now, without further ado, let me just slowly engage each one of these units. So let's create a nice little loop. I think that's good enough for rock and roll. And there we go. 
un bel giorno biondo di turno si svegliò e si scelse in e lo seguivano come cani we say whenever you see a needle on an SSL moving that's already too much so barely moving at least for this kind of setup sometimes I like to smash the hell out of it but that's for other purposes not for a uh, master bus un bel giorno biondo di turno si sveglio e si scelse in ali che lo seguivano come cani dodici teste quattro trane so very basic uh, no makeup gain 3 3 millisecond attack, so super slow, auto release, 4 to 1 ratio, a little bit of sidechain filter, uh, just to make sure the low end doesn't overpower my trigger. Then a pull tack, indeed. So again, I would use my Summit Audio, but let's see how this guy is doing in the digital domain. In this case, all we're really doing is some boost at 12K and some cutting at uh, 20, but again, very, Small movements, yeah, not much. Un bel giorno biondo di turno. Si sveglio e si scelse in ali. Che lo seguivano come cani. Dodici teste, quattro trane. E moltiplicando i pani. Ignaro della Bibbia. Bugiarda la promessa Again we're getting just the 1% extra and then here I'm using my yeah plugin version from Universal Audio of the SPL Vitalizer. Again, not exactly doing the exact same work as the outboard would do, but in this case I'm actually just using for a little bit of stereo expansion. So that's what that's doing. Let's hear it in a, on and off. Off first. Un bel giorno biondo di turno. Si sveglio e si scelse in ali. Try to pay attention to the presentation in the stereo field of the drums and uh, the horns. Yeah. So without. Gotta mute my mic as well. Un bel giorno biondo di turno Si sveglio e si scelse in ali Che lo seguivano come cani Dodici teste, quattro trane E moltiplicando i pani Ignaro della Bibbia all right, let me go banana with this so you can kind of see what it can do. I'm not pushing it too much, especially because I'm on headphones and this can be very, 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 very tricky uh, because without having a proper set of speakers in uh, my studio, I cannot really assess how wide it should be uh, because I don't really have a clear center image here. I mean, so let me just push it so you can see what it does, what this machine does. Un bel giorno biondo di turno Si sveglio e si scelse in ali Now my center, my center phantom image is completely collapsed. I don't want that, so let me back it off. Un bel giorno biondo di turno Si sveglio e si scelse in ali Che lo seguivano come cani Cool, good with that. Now what we have next on the menu is the hardware insert. What you see here, it's again just the insert of this setup. Okay, so whenever I basically engage this hardware insert, we're going out of our Universal Audio Interface, out on line output 3 and 4 going into the Mag Audio in series and then after that in series we got the Vari Mew from Mali and after that in series we got a Massive Passive Mastering Edition and all of that stuff it's then going back into the audio interface uh, with the line level input 3 and 4 so that's effectively a hardware insert. Again, I don't have my higher-end uh, 
interfaces, uh, converters, but I guess for this, it's more than enough. Again, let me make sure I ping it. So this way I have the latency kind of set to a same spot. That's great. So you can see here is actually probably you can see it. Yeah, it's sending a ping out to make sure that then receives it back and you can see what's the latency offset, which is zero in this case, which is great. I could insert this as a stereo. That's how I have it or even as a mid side. So where the left would be the mid and the right would be the side information. I'm just stick stereo because that's what I was doing there. And um, yeah, and after that, we do have a little limiter. We we'll get into that in a second. Let me just, again, showcase what I got going on in here. If you guys want, I can even try to zoom in a little bit more. Otherwise, I think it should be okay for rock and roll. Let me just explain you real quick what we got going on over here. So, uh, let me engage the Magi Q4M. Beautiful unit. We were on the, we were on, on, uh, on the live stream last week. The Cliff, Mag, Junior and Senior, the guys behind these units so so cool to have them so what's going on here it's basically i'm doing um, a one click boost at the sub frequency which is they say around 10 hertz one click boost at 40 hertz again one click is 0 0.5 db i'm doing uh, nothing on 160 hertz i'm doing one click cut at 650 and one click boost at 2.5 kilohertz and then i'm doing i think a 3 db boost on the air band at 20 kilohertz and that's uh, pretty much the same to the left and right. So let me in first play it without it. Let me go to another section so we don't get bored. Se il pane non gli manca, conserva i suoi nemici in banca, la capra in debito non li scopra. Se... Again, it's a little bit, if you, if you expect this thing to blow out of proportion in terms of, oh, what a change, now we're doing mastering, okay? And we're doing it with very limited tools in terms of monitoring, so we want to be extremely careful, even more careful than I would be in my home and in my own trusted studio, because of monitoring purposes and uh, opportunities. So again, I can demonstrate what the airband would do if I go banana with it, let me do that. Too much, let's pack it off. Yep, so without it. It's making it again a little bit better sounding, my opinion. Next thing we have on the menu is the Varimu, this bad boy over here. Probably, as you guys know, this is a old tube-based compressor and limiter. I'm using it in compressed mode. I'm using it into dual mono, so I'm not uh, linking the left and the right. I think that's uh, making even more sense for me. I have the high-pass sidechain filter in. Same idea as the SSL bus compressor on the plugin, not to have the low end overpower my threshold. And um, yeah, actually in this case, I am using a fast recovery and a fast attack. Threshold, uh, it's equal on both channels, so it should be. Working compressed mode one more time. And what I'm doing, I'm also boosting with the tube gain a couple of dBs into the circuit, which is gonna make it sound so much balls here so let's uh, let's do that I'm gonna engage it with it without it but with the boost of 2 dBs still now compression in I mean, whenever it fits the program material, it's very hard to beat this sort of compressor. It's not 
definitely not the fastest one. Um, that's when I use FATS or VCAs, VCAs for the most part. But for these sort of applications, I put it on kind of a fast attacking release. And it's just giving me so much mojo, man. One more time, without it. Cool. Last thing I have on the menu here, in terms of outboard gear, it's the massive passive. In here, as you guys probably know, we have uh, yeah four different bands, and we do have high pass filter and low pass filters, and even a gain stage. All of this is also two bass, so really, really tasty. Not doing much, as you can see, a couple of clicks per band, no more than that. And uh, what I'm doing, I'm boosting with the shelf at 100 hertz. I'm cutting with the bell. Uh, 390 hertz. I am boosting with the shelf at 6.8 kilohertz and I am also boosting with the shelf at 12 kilohertz. Let me see if I can get a closer up of this unit. Yep. Yep. Should be able to see it now. So without it Let me do banana with it, or let me disengage it. Go to a section where we can hear vocals really well. This one. Un bel giorno biondo di turno. Si sveglio e si scelse i nani. Che lo seguivan come cani. Dodici teste, quattro cani. E moltiplicando i pani. Della Bibbia, bugiarda la promessa che ha conquistato la città. Se non conosci il tuo passato, purtroppo si ripete. Let me bypass the entire upward chain. Yeah, there's a reason why these units are so goddamn expensive, because they do marvelous. It's just uh, what it is. Uh, not that you don't, you, you really need it in order to get your job done. Uh, but you know, whenever I mean, I also have the plugin of this, but the mojo I get from the real deal, ah, uh, that's something different. The other thing I have going on over here, it's a Universal Audio Oxford limiter, and this is just making sure that I'm basically hitting uh, my target level. In this case, as I was mentioning before, we are going for, um, put it like that, we're going for a um, Spotify release, so we should be within kind of the minus 14, minus 16 ballpark. It's not an extremely loud song, so it shouldn't be like, it, but we should be aware of the target and the loudness normalization that's in place into those streaming services. So in order to do that, all I did is just set up my true peak limiter at minus one. That's what's really required by streaming services. I just boosted a little bit of uh, 2.9 dBs. And uh, yeah, that's uh, basically just uh, bringing up the volume. And let's see, with and without. Se il pane non gli manca, con 
serve ai suoi nemici in banca. So you can probably see we're not doing tons of gain reduction, very very little, but whenever there is a peak or a spark, that's uh, when it's catching in a really fast attack and release setting. So that's that, and I think the best way to demonstrate what we just did is uh, to actually just, oops, just uh, kind of go and jump in between the original mix on, on top of which I put a limiter in to make up for the gain. And uh, let's see what uh, how it compares with what we had. So I'm gonna do a little play, comparison in between the original mix with the limiter, just to make up for the loudness compensation, and our quick master that we did in half an hour over here. Let's see. The original. La capra in debito non li scopra Se non ci tira una riga sopra Che attira sempre più attenzione Ribalta tavoli e poltrone Usa legofono piramidale could be done even better, to be honest, but what I get is definitely that, uh, yeah, there's more space in between instruments, uh, the mix overall, it's, uh, yeah, it's just more coherent, the frequency balance, it's uh, more flattering, if you wish, the drums sit, sit in very nicely, so, uh, yeah, and then a boom and fees, as I call it, it's just a little bit of low end and a little bit high, high end. So without further ado, what I would do now is just uh, give it a play for you guys. I'm going to bring up the multimeter so we make sure that we are actually getting into that target zone. And uh, yeah, you guys can tell me what you think. And um, the last but not la least important thing I wanted to tell you is please keep on submitting your tracks. Uh, hopefully from again next week I'm going to be in the studio, which means I have plenty more gear that will be able to showcase and use it on your own productions for free. So just send it over, info at redstoneproductions.nl, info at redstoneproductions.nl, just like this guy did. And uh, yeah, just make sure that uh, you keep on following uh, our, um, yeah, our live streams on Friday. Without further ado, let me just play out the song and then I'm going to be back just to say goodbye. Let's see. giorno biondo di turno si sveglio e si scelse i nani che lo seguivano come cani dodici teste quattro cane e moltiplicando i pani ignaro della bibbia bugiarda la promessa che ha conquistato la città se non conosci il tuo passato purtroppo si ripeterà se non conosci il tuo passato purtroppo si ripeterà Se il pane non gli manca, conserva i suoi nemici in banca, la capra in debito non li scopra, se no ci tira una riga sopra, che attira sempre più attenzione, ribalta tavoli e poltrone, usa legofono piramidale. Chioda Brian sulla croce Se non conosci il tuo passato purtroppo
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed today's show. Next week again from the studio, so please don't forget to keep on subscribing on our YouTube channel. We're trying to do everything we possibly can to give it back to you guys, so hit that button over there. And uh, without further ado, i see you next week. Uh, wish you a really good weekend, and uh, let's try to be in contact. As always, stay tuned for more.